Welcome back to the future. We are in the year 1986, and Doc Brown seems to have moved on with his family. And in the meantime, the city of Hill Valley has had this estate sale to get rid of all his stuff so that they could build a parking garage here. And at the moment, we're trying to figure out how to wrestle away Doc's top secret notebook with the DeLorean plans from the clutches of Biff Tannen here. Of course, we know what happened the last time Biff got his hands on the DeLorean, and we don't want that to happen again. Especially if he can find somebody to build it for him based on this. Hey, Biff. Let's see if we can convince him. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. Yeah, then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Oh, he got us there. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Oh, I should have known that wouldn't work. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh... Not enough. Okay, it looks like this isn't going anywhere. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's see what else we can look at in here. In the first episode or two, there's a lot more to see just because you're visiting a lot of places for the first time. Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. <laughs> it kind of does look like a pencil sharpener, doesn't it? Let's try playing with the jukebox here. Enough of that junk. We haven't even played anything yet. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. Okay, what about this? Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, it kind of was, wasn't it? That was the uh, mind reading helmet that uh, we saw Doc playing around with when we first saw him in 1955 in the first Back to the Future movie. I'll probably never know what this is for. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> that smells like beef stew. Oh, maybe he whipped up some beef stew in there too. Doesn't look like there's anything else to see over here though, so let's keep looking around. Our guitar! What's it doing in there? Hey, Dad, wh why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up, I'll iron things out with the bank. Alright, we've got Marty's guitar. I got an idea. Let's see if we can use this uh, amplifier here. Let's make some noise. Well, thankfully, Marty's turning it up only halfway and not all the way like he did in the beginning of the first movie. And at this point, the game is teaching us about inventory. And inventory in this game, to be honest, is somewhat cumbersome. Uh, it's not at the bottom of the screen like some adventure games are. It's up here in a separate screen. And you have to go here every time you want to use something. And... It's not that bad just because you don't get a ridiculous amount of items, but when you get more than seven, you have to cycle through and figure out where's, you know, what and everything. And the thing is, you can easily forget that you have something. Um, especially this right here, this picture of your dad, because that's with you, like, all the time. But thankfully, we've got only two items. You can use these arrows to cycle between the items. You can use the item either by clicking on the Use Item button, or the item itself, or you can examine the item, which usually involves Marty talking about it, or uh, Marty reading something if it's something with writing on it. We can try that here. It may not look like much, but it packs a wallop. And I'm not going to do that for everything, just because there's so many things to pick up in this game, and it, it would just be rather tedious, so... I'm going to try to avoid doing that. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. 
Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, gosh. You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Interesting that when Biff um, tried to play the guitar, he put the courthouse down. Maybe if he was allowed to play it uninterrupted, we could try sneaking away with it. Let's talk to our dad and see if we can convince him to just lay off on Biff and we can make off of the courthouse with no issue. Hey, Dad. About Biff, Dad. <laughs> I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. Well, it's a little more complicated than that. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Alright, let's try to lure Biff over here again. Now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This will really do the trick. Now, watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think that's the same shelf that uh, fell on Marty in the movie. Uh, Doc, where are you? Could it be? Nah. But how? I thought the DeLorean got destroyed. How is it still here? Well, let's take a look around and see if Doc's inside. Doc? Probably cold, though. Einstein. Einstein! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Well, everything looks uh, like it's in order. But where's Doc, and how did Einstein drive the car up to 88 miles an hour to get back here? Seems rather odd. What have we got here? We got the time machine with its time circuit display and keypad. Let's see if we can try going somewhere. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. This is part of the great attention to the detail that this game has. In order to actually use that, you have to pull on the time search get switch, just like in the movies, which I think is so cool. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. True. Let's see what else we got here. We got a shoe and a tape recorder. Let's see what's up with the shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. That would be rather odd if it were. Marty? Ah. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to retrieve 
return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I can land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past. Or oh, was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, last time departed. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? We don't have a date to look at here, so we have to find an alternate way to see where Doc went. Thankfully, we have a little bit more help than we had before, because we got Einstein with us, and maybe he can sniff out um, whom the shoe belongs to, because if the shoe ended up in the DeLorean at the last point in time uh, that Doc took it to, then we might be able to get a general idea of uh, when that time might be. What do you know about this shoe, Einy? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! <laughs> Let's see where Einstein takes us. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einy? Well, maybe we can find the person to whom the shoe belongs. But first, let's stop at the arcade. I guess there's time for a quick game. There's always time for a quick game. Man, that was quick. Okay, now I'm ready. Good deal. Let's see what we got here. Strickland. Step away from the door. Ah. Oh. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. <laughs> Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah? <laughs> All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. State your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, see, that's the thing. I I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? E. Strickland? You aren't related to, uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Yeah. Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, oh. Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't ya? Guilty as charged. Uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. <laughs> yep, she's definitely related to him. Well, let's show her the shoe. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leave that creature outside. I get the Sorry, Einstein. I get the impression she doesn't like dogs. 
Oh, he's a good boy. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. Called you a hooligan. I try not...